It's getting a little bit like deja vu at the moment. I feel like I'm saying the same things time and time and time again. Poor performance, poor result. And the reality is I don't think anyone has the right to say that they should beat anybody. You know, if you look at the Arsenal result yesterday or the Chelsea result, or the Man City result, you know, I think we're all kind of in the same boat of struggling for form, struggling to get any kind of real momentum going in our in our um, uh, in our positions. Um, the only team that really kind of getting there is Liverpool. Seem to be um, getting every decision right, getting every performance right, and sometimes when you're up there and you're and you're, you know, you're doing okay. Luck will will come your way. You know what they say: the harder you work, the luckier you get. Um, so you can't, as much as it pains me, you can't take it away from them. They are doing what they need to do. But from our point of view, yesterday, I, I don't think you could argue too much with the uh, with the lineup. I mean, we've got every every attacking player available out there on the pitch. Our players are better quality than uh, than Watford, and I think certainly in the first half we we did show some glimpses. I, I think we um, we passed the ball fairly well, but without any real penetration. We, we really are struggling with that um, creative player to just unlock things for all these endeavour of Lamella and Mora um, and the tricks and the flicks. Um, from from Delhi, which he's getting complained at about he, him doing that. But if you take that out of his game, you know what have you got? You know the guy does those things, you know, and that's what makes him the player that he is. That's what makes him the exciting player that he is, and and, and he gets results. You know, okay, it's not coming off for him at the moment. Um, but when Mourinho first came in, it did, and we were all lauding it when he was when he was um, winning the ball from falling over and playing it on to to Sonny for the goal against West Ham. You know, we was all oh wow, you know, great flicks. You know, he can do. You know, now we're complaining because he's trying stuff. Well, if you stop him trying stuff, then you take away the creativity that he has in the game. Um, I don't think Mora is working as an out-and-out -out striker, and maybe there's an opportunity for, for maybe Sun to play as the number nine, or, or even Ali to play as the as the number nine, just to give us something different, just to change it slightly. And I know it's not their best or preferred positions, but sometimes needs must, unless we can get a another striker in who's ready to hit the ground running and. Uh, and do the business for us, I think we're going to have to kind of play with those options. So second half yesterday I felt we were we were poor, um, more so because Watford got better, felt that they uh, they, they tend to get, um, get more into the game and, and press and push harder and harder um, and then sometimes hard work and endeavour pays out and it's something that I've been calling out for for Tottenham, you know, hard work and endeavour, you know, you've got a You've got to put it in there. We had a um, couple of decisions, maybe um, the uh, the Kapu tackle on Tanganga. I know the uh, pundits are all saying, well, you know, it wasn't really that bad, and all the rest of it. But you know, for me, I think you know that's a that's a potential potential red card. Um, may not be an out-and-out -out red card but certainly a potential red card for me um, great to see Gazaniga save a, save a penalty I mean that's uh, that kept us in the game and kept it going otherwise we could have ended up with a worse result than we than we did have so happy for that and of course so close to actually nicking the game right at the end uh, with the ball millimeters away from uh, from crossing the line but hey that's football right so Disappointing, disappointing performance um, overall. Disappointing result, more than performance. I think there are still some seeds of improvement here and there. 
not as much as I'd like, but here and there. Um, I think um, Tanganga is getting a little bit of um, unfair criticism uh, of not having his greatest game. It's his third start, you know, give the kid a chance. Um, he's not going to have 10 out of 10s every game. But, you know, he's there, he stood up, he was there to be counted, and he did his job. Um, and it's our first clean sheet for a very, very long time. So, ultimately, we take a point, we move on. Performances from other teams have kind of gone our way, so it still leaves us in the mix somewhere. So, until it's mathematically uh, unable to be achieved, then we've got to keep the faith and hope that, that we can get there. Um, still got the FA Cup to play for, still got the Champions League to play for, still got um, top four to play for. So it's not all over, disappointing, not great to watch, but we keep the faith, we're in it for life, right? Tottenham until I die, up the Spurs.